We are back on daytime. Thanks for watching. The nursery is intact. The baby car seat waiting in the back of your vehicle. And you already have loads of diapers set for all those fun changings. If you think you're set for your newborn, well, once you actually get your own hospital checklist in order, then you are set. And helping us with that is Sherry Mesra, author of The Baby Sleeps Tonight. She has all the information on anything you could possibly need in this book, but you are here now, obviously, to help us get this checklist intact. And this is where it all starts from the very beginning when you go to the hospital. This is when the chaos ensues. Actually, this is the way you're going to make it easier for us by having this checklist. Absolutely, because it's very important what you take to the hospital, it kind of sets the pace. You want to be prepared from the very, very beginning. And you wanna make it an easier transition once that little little one just comes out. All right, but the big question is, when should you do this? I have friends that started doing it at 32 weeks. I'm 36 weeks and just started thinking about it. And then others, they're reaching 40 and uh-oh, I, I, light goes on, we gotta put this checklist together. When should we do it? You should probably do it about 36 weeks. Oh, good. When you start, you're just, you're right on. <laughs> okay. Um, when you're starting to it, it get checked internally and you're either dilating or getting effaced, you really want to start your kit then, you know, get it all together. All right, now what should we put in this big bag and, and, and on this checklist? Well, the number one thing you want to bring is a baby outfit for going home. Right, because the baby's got to look cute because forget about you, mamas. <laughs> That's what my mom says to me. You and know? you also want to bring one that looks cute for you, you too. Do, but everybody's going to be looking at the baby. The baby. So you you just, because the outfits that they give you at the hospital aren't very cute. And definitely not very attractive. Right, and um, not always comfortable either for the baby. And this is going to be something that you keep with you really the rest of your child's life. It's gonna be that first outfit. Um, and very important to have a little hat just because that head needs to be warm. And also you can find tons of cute hats online. Just search the internet. I know lots of mothers love to do that. They put little like mouse ears or something oh. on their baby. And then years later, the child hates you, but that's yes. a different ball game. And then this is what's very important too. If you happen to be a cord blood under the cord blood registry, you need to make sure you bring the kit with you. Oh, because, I didn't even know that. Because you only have one shot at, right. you know, when, when the baby comes out and you've got that umbilical cord, this is the, the kit that has to be in it. Okay. And I remember when my, da my daughter was born nine and a half uh, years ago, I forgot it. Wow. Okay. So then so that's it's when important. You start. That's you want to have this right by your door, you know, and you want to have your whole kit. Okay. So register for your, core, you know, your core blood reg registry if you're going to do that, and then bring yes. the kit with bring you. Bring the kit with you. In the bag. What else should okay. you have? Okay. Well, let's go through. Okay. A sound soother. A sound soother. This is a wonderful tool, mm. and it's a soothing tool. Um, it plays white noise or soothing sounds, and especially when you are in labor and when the baby is born, those sounds, that shh, that white noise sound, is a very good sound for the baby to hear because that's really what the baby was hearing for nine so months. So it's very calming. Calming, it's calming for you as well. Yeah, it's not as shocking for the child when the child comes out. Then. Yes, and it's a great transitionary sound when you bring the baby home. Now, if you're breastfeeding, this is probably something that um, you should definitely add to your bag, and I didn't even think oh, about yeah. it until you mentioned this. Well, you know, keeping those nipples conditioned are very important. Because it gets painful. It can. Apparently. Yes. So, you know, as you're getting closer to that delivery date, um, it's okay to start to condition your nipples, but you have to be a little careful because it has been known to bring on, with nipple stimulation, bring on labor. And is that, oh, but is that okay for, um, once you do start breastfeeding, is that okay for you to put on while a child is breastfeeding? I mean, should it just be put on hours earlier? You put it on after the breastfeeding. Ah. And then you're going to simply just wipe it off okay. um, with a clean towel before you breastfeed. Gotcha. That makes... really helps because you want to do that because otherwise your nipples can get very chapped and hurt at first. And as we said, and I'll keep stressing, painful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My friends keep telling me, a camera is key. Camera and a video camera is very, very important to have, but you want to make sure those batteries are charged. That's the big thing. <laughs> I know that I'll bring a camera or my husband will, but we won't have it charged. You want to make sure it's charged? Finally, what is the last big element that you need in your bag for your checklist bag for the hospital? You want to have not only a pillow, 
but you also want to get your husband's bags to bag together. That's so such a nice thing to have oh. to be able to you know pack a little bit of home <laughs> with you for him. Thank you. Since it might take a while. Yes, thank you for. <laughs> or to be quick. Telling me just now because otherwise my husband is going <laughs> to feel very much alone. I apologize to that, Steve. Right off the bat, Sherry Mesra, thank you so much. It's great to have you here. The baby sleeps tonight is available online. You can also go to daytimeonline.tv, and we will link to her website. We'll be right back.